Good afternoon YouTube. So this is the condensate drain off my tankless water heater and normally it runs down into the stand pipe that the clothes washer drains into. I've just been curious as to how much liquid actually comes out when you run the heater. So what I did was I just ran a load of dishes in the dishwasher. I have the hot water set to 140 Fahrenheit which is about 60 Celsius and I think I missed maybe the first hot water cycle. Anyway, that's how much condensate I picked up off of almost a full cycle on the dishwasher. We're not talking about a lot of liquid. I think this is a six ounce cup. And the other thing I wanted to do was see what kind of pH this has. So let's see. I just calibrated this with some buffer solution. Just kind of stir it around a bit. And I let this kind of come to room temperature so it's probably 25 Celsius which is about where this was calibrated so 5 5.1 pH but like lemon juice is pH 2 so this is much less acidic than lemon juice like I said this is I think is a six ounce cup and that says one quarter so that would be one and a half ounces so this is the drain where the clothes washer empties into, as well as the utility sink comes in from the side. The detergent residues from the clothes washer are in that section of drain line, and that can help to reduce the acidity of the condensate. I think there's maybe four cycles. It fills with hot water, runs the detergent, then does a rinse and then I think it does another fill and another rinse and this heater runs those four cycles and that's as much liquid as you get and that's spread out over maybe 20-25 minutes whatever the washing cycle takes. You're not talking about very much liquid coming out of one of these. Of course if you have a bigger heater and you're, you're filling a, a big bathtub and then the heater is going to run for 20 minutes straight well then you're going to have more condensate but normal operation There's just not that much liquid that comes out and it's a fairly warm humid day here for this area I don't know if that affects things maybe there'll be a little bit more on a cold winter day than on a hot summer day I don't know I never see a solid stream of water back there. It's just drips. It'll be a chug of water and then there's nothing and then another drop of water and nothing. That drains as fast as the condensate can build up. It's not like it's backing up. But that's kind of what I wanted to find out was how much water are we talking about and you know is this battery acid or soda pop. You're not dealing with a lot of volume and the water that's coming out of there is really not terribly acidic. Maybe other fuels are worse. Natural gas, methane, CH4, there's really not much in there. I guess you have a little bit of the odorant that they put in there has some sulfur in it, but that's a, like a really low concentration. So you might get a little bit of sulfur dioxide coming out of there with sulfuric acid. And this heater is low NOx, so it's got very low nitrogen oxide output. So yeah, maybe other heaters, higher NOx heaters that run at higher temperatures or higher combustion pressures might uh, have more NOx. But, but yeah, if you have any uh, questions about that, post up in the comments section below and I'll put some of the other tankless water heater videos over here on the left side and as always thanks for watching